Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, you guys. God wants you to know that he has not forgotten about you. It's somebody that's going through some trials. It's somebody who's going through some tribulations. It's somebody that's in a current struggling situation right now, and they don't understand why God has them in that place. And you're right now questioning God. Why me, God? Why am I in this place? You know, some of you have been blindsided. Some of you, you know, been thrown curveballs by people you didn't even expect. You know, some of you have experienced pitfalls. Some of you have been down in the dumps trying to figure out a way to pick yourself up. After you've done all that you could possibly do and you're still trying to figure it out. Not understanding that God has already worked it out for you. You just have to trust God and know and believe that he is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. He's just waiting on you to allow him to just take the wheel in your life and steer you in the right direction. So once you do that, you'll see your blessings start to flow. Amen, amen, amen. You know, and so, you know, all I kept hearing was Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. And so somebody's needing a blessing. Somebody's waiting on a miracle. Somebody's waiting on some doors to open up. Somebody's waiting for the chains to be broken off. Somebody's waiting on God to do what he said he's going to do. Somebody is just broken right now. Somebody is feeling some pain. Somebody's feeling some frustration. Somebody got some sickness in their body. Somebody's dealing with some mental issues. Somebody is struggling. Don't know where the next meal is going to come from. Don't know how you're going to get your bills paid. Just wondering, God, when is you going to show up and show out? But I'm here to tell you that God says you have won. You have won. Let go and let me guide you so that you can get the blessings that I've promised you. And I say this in all sincerity because it's somebody tonight where their heart is heavy, they're feeling down, dismayed, discouraged about life, the way your life has been going. You're not understanding it. But God wants to show you a new direction. Are you willing to take that new direction? You know, in our imperfections, we discover our true self. The self that God designed and created us to be. In our imperfections, you know, it's at our lowest points in our life that God shows us really who we are. Because that's what he wants us to see. He wants us to see our true self. And see, when you uncover your true self, that's when the joy starts to come. That's when the peace that surpasses all understanding starts to cover you. That's when you know that you know that you walk in with your head held high and can't nobody tell you that God is not God all by himself. He's a miracle, wonder-working power God. He is on the throne on working on your behalf day and night. All you got to do is just trust and believe. Let it go. Let it go. I know it's holding you down. It's like a ball in a chain wrapped around your, 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 your leg. But you got to be willing to release that. Release it into the atmosphere. God said bring all your cares and your burdens to him. All that's heavy laid, he will give you rest. He will give you rest. He will provide it for you. So let it go. Let it go. So I encourage you tonight. I want you to share and join in with me with this song. It's a powerful song, James Fortune. Let your power fall. Holy Spirit, let fall your afresh. power fall. Hallelujah. Mm. When your name is called. Hallelujah. 
for God to take the chains off. Go up and lead you to revive us. Yes, Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. I'm going to do it again, Aaron. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, go on. Hallelujah. 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 For a job, they want to know where the mix next meal is going to come from, how the bills are going to get paid, how they're going to feed their children, Father God. They're just asking right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, just rain down on them, Father God, so they will know that you are God and you are God alone. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Have your way, Father God. Have your way. Have your way. again. You have won again. Hallelujah. 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 This prayer is for you because God said that you're struggling and we touching and agreeing tonight that your struggle is over. Your struggle is over. You're walking in your new season because you're letting God take the wheel and take control of everything that's going on in your life. Just trust him and hold on and believe that he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could possibly ever even imagine. I know that it's hard. I know that it is difficult for me to say what I'm saying to you right now, but I'm saying this as a revelatory experience. I'm saying this because all that God has brought me through in my time in ministry, there is nothing too hard for God. There's nothing that God can't handle. God can turn your situation around in the midnight hour. He can make a mess into a message. Amen. He can turn your trials and your tribulations into a blessing to give somebody else so they can understand why they're going through what they're going through. So don't be quiet. Don't silence your voice. Lift him up in praise and worship and watch him open the doors in your life. Amen, amen. Glory be to God. You guys have a blessed and wonderful evening. Thank you for another opportunity for me to come to you. Wherever you are, I'm praying for you. You're on my mind. You're in my heart. I don't know you personally, but I can feel it in my spirit that you're struggling. God says, take heed to my word so that you'll struggle can be over. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. This is no joke, you guys. This is no joke. If you want breakthrough, you got to do it. You got to let go and let God. Get down on your hands and knees if that's what's required. Sometimes you have to do what you got to do. You got to revert back to God and let him deal with it so that you can receive the blessings and the promises that he has for you. He did it with the Israelites. So what makes you think that he can't do it for you? Amen. Until next time, have a blessed and glorious day.